I know you guys have seen lots of other in the bag videos. I'm actually wanting to make this as like the YouTuber side of it. So YouTuber in the bag. I separate my discs into three sections and I'm gonna go over my camera equipment and everything like that. I use to record shorts and full length videos, the microphone I use, tripod setup, everything like that. So if you guys were interested in that, stick around, let's get into it. So in the bag, I actually only carry 12 molds. With all the discs that I run, I'll either have an in for neutral. So I've got the P2 as my putter. I've got a few P2s. This one right here is just stuck around with me the longest. The Glitch by MVP. Love this thing for just like the glide fade. Also like warming up with it, just throwing it to somebody else just to get me kind of in that motion. I've got a Destroyer from the F2, the last video I did. This thing has actually made its way into the bag. I kind of hated on a little bit in that video, but it's starting to grow on me. I've kept it around. I love it for a nice forehand. Whenever I just really, really need it to come back right, it's super, super overstable, really beefy, and I love it for that. I've got the Discmania Cloud Breaker. This one right here is the Creator Series. To be honest, I don't throw this as much as I used to. This right here really used to be my go-to disc. I've definitely switched over into my other DD3, the C-Line DD3, and I absolutely love the C-Line DD3. I got it off the used rack. It's got a nice little like spot where whoever had it before me was just holding their thumb in there perfect, and it just has a nice groove, and I've, I've come to like it for that. I've got a Paul McBeth Discraft Zeus. Just snagged this one as of recent. It's more of a slower fairway driver. It's the Skywalker, the Casey White Skywalker. This thing right here started to grow on me for my backhand. My backhand is definitely not as fast as my forehand, so I've had to get a slower disc to kind of fit my backhand, especially for like the 180 to 200 foot shot. I could easily take my zone and do that as well, but I've just had more luck controlling the Skywalker. For my understable disc, I rock a Hades. This right here is my understable go-to. I absolutely love it for a nice forehand and I need to go left. I also like it if I want to throw a backhand to go right. It just works for me for that slot. For my distance driver for my backhand, I run the Discmania Enigma. This one right here is actually just a glow Enigma. I got it for the fact it was glow in the dark and I just really needed a glow in the dark disc, but it's growing on me. Don't even throw it in the dark because I don't want to lose it. These don't glow as much as they should, but for another driver, I run the Captain Raptor, the Paul Uliberry version Captain Raptor. Another overstable driver that I like to backhand for a slower speed, kind of like the Casey White Skywalker. I run the Athena. Another first run dish, just Paul McBeth Athena. And my most favorite disc that you guys have probably already seen if you've ever watched my channel is my Get Freaky Zone. I've got three of these. This one right here is just fit the bag the best. Turns on the line that I want it. I've had this one probably in the bag the longest out of all the discs that I have. But this disc right here has just been my go-to for any tight tunnel shot or anything really less than like 250. Just forehand, I can make it get there. For my extras, I keep my mini. This right here is my lucky mini. It's a wizard on there. Don't really know where this came from, to be honest. I think I might have just picked it up off the ground somewhere. No name on it though. It's from Gateway Disc Sports. Dot com, but I just love this thing. Kept it ever since I found it. And then for my chalk bag, right now I'm just running a disc graph, sat grip solution. I've actually got my own. I don't know why I don't really use it that much. It's been sitting in my car. I guess I just don't want to get it dirty or ruin it. For the creator side of things, I just actually got the DJI Mini 2 SE just to fly and get some nice little disc off fly shots. Definitely super excited about that. I also just got the Rode Go 2 wireless mic. I'm absolutely loving this thing. It came with two mics and then a transmitter that you plug the phone into. I also got the bag itself, the hand eye bag from the Dynamic Disc Sale. They had this thing on sale for $19.99. Snagged the bad boy up. It's definitely got enough room. Like I said, I keep the drone and then 12 discs right in here. I'm definitely liking it for that. Chalk bag on the side here, water bottle on the left side, all the other stuff like car keys, wallet, road go to mic, my gimbal, which the phone's sitting on right now. I can all fit all that up here in the top pocket. And I've even got a pocket here that I haven't thrown stuff into yet. Probably going to look at like getting a poncho or something in there in case it rains on me. And as for the gimbal, normally I run an iPhone 15 Pro up here. That's what I'm videoing on now. This right here is my personal phone. Just to show you guys though, I can flip it to record for long form content or short. And then if it got like out of balance or something and I wanted to straighten it up, I can actually just double tap this trigger and it will realign me back to straight, which is nice. I've got the record button here. And then zoom is this right here, and then power on and off. This right here just allows me to look around with it if I wanted to move it, change the angle up. But this right here is definitely the setup. It's very compact, very tiny, and I absolutely love it. And the last but most important thing that I carry on me as a disc golf YouTuber is my hat. Link in bio, go get one. It's going to add like 20% 20, 20 extra throw power, 50% extra riz. And don't even get me started on the ace percentage. It goes up by like 2%. You guys think I'm joking? Watch this. And in case you guys thought I was joking, if I don't make this shot right here, I'm going to give you guys 10% off the hats. So close.
I'm a man of my word. Go check out the hats. Use code Colton at checkout. Save that 10% since I couldn't make the ace. Till next one, hope you guys take care. Peace out.